committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall help you guide. There are problems in the ticketing industry, problems we believe can and should be addressed through legislation. Many are the direct result of industrial scale ticket scalping that goes on today. The recent on sale experience with Taylor Swift, one of the world's most popular artists, has highlighted the need to address these, ur these issues urgently. We knew bots would attack that on sale and planned accordingly. We were then hit with three times the amount of bot traffic that we'd ever experienced and for the first time in 400 verified fan on sales, they came after our verified fan pass, password servers as well. While the bots failed to penetrate our systems or acquire any tickets, the attack requires to slow down and even pause our sales. This is what led to a terrible consumer experience, which we deeply regret. We apologize to the fans. We apologize to Ms. Swift. We need to do better, and we will do better. It is no mystery why no other company has significantly penetrated the primary ticketing market. Major venues in the US know that if they move their primary ticketing business from Ticketmaster, they risk losing revenue they earn from Live Nation concerts. They know this because Live Nation has told them so. Directly and indirectly, through its public pronouncements, private communications, and subsequent retaliation against venues that have signed deals with a competitor. Our industry provides a cautionary tale about how behavioral remedies cannot solve the problems inherent in an anti-competitive merger. The only effective remedy now is a structural one, the dissolution of the common ownership of Ticketmaster and Live Nation. To improve our industry, we must restore competition. At SeatGeek, we deeply care about the live event industry and believe it's time to give fans, teams, artists, and venues alike the choices they deserve. Every time that Live Nation or Ticketmaster blames anybody else for the significant issues uh, and, and increasingly high fees, remember that many times they are the venue, the promoter, and the manager um, uh, of that artist. By controlling ticketing and promotion, the artist management company, they're choking off competition that would offer an alternative to the broken system we see today. This was most acutely seen in Taylor Swift and it's playing out across the live music industry every day and generating fan outrage and despair. The $42 a fan spent on a ticket we received 12, but whereas Live Nation's costs were already covered at this point in the calculation, we still need to pay for our touring costs. In our case, roughly 50% of our earnings is used to cover expenses, so that leaves us with $6 for an eight-piece band, pre-tax, and we also have to pay our own health insurance. Jokes aside, we truly do not see Live Nation as the enemy. They're just the largest player in a game that feels stacked against us as artists and often our fans as well. Ultimately, when looking at the current state of the industry, we're left with lots of questions. Why is it that all of Live Nation's costs get recouped before the show hits its profit point, yet ours, the artists, don't? Why is there so little transparency as to what line items such as facility fees actually go towards? Why is it standard for Live Nation to take a 20% commission on our merchandise sales while we never receive a cent of their ancillary revenues like concessions, alcohol, and parking? What we're doing here is having a public hearing because the public has a right to know exactly what is going on. And um, we also have the ability to have these witnesses be sworn in under oath. Uh, which is helpful because there's a lot of reports that the Justice Department is conducting an investigation right now. This is evidence for the Justice Department to use. And then finally, the members get educated. And it is time to put forward new legislation, especially when it comes to fees and transparency on these tickets. There's a government accountability report that shows that 27% of the ticket price is fees. And there's some of the tickets have been shown to be up to 75% fees. That's outrageous. And that's what happens when you have one entity, which is Ticketmaster Live Nation, that has 70% of the big ticket market that 
has the promotion, which is Live Nation, and then also owns a bunch of the venues. And for the venues they don't own, they get three to five to seven years in terms of exclusive deals, cutting out other competitors.